This week is Parshas Nachamu, Nachamu Ami, the week that we read after Shabbos of Tisha B'av, where God comforts us on the destruction of both temples, the first and the second. And we start the Parsha of Eschanan al Hashem, that Moshe Davin to Hashem at that time to ask Hashem to please let him go into the land of Eretz Yisrael. And the Talmud learns from there that Vaschanan adds up to 515, the numerical value of the word Vaschanan. That Moshe prayed 515 prayers to allow Hashem to allow him to go to Israel. And the Talmud asks, why did Moshe want to go to Israel? Did he want to eat the fruits of Israel? Did he want to go to the oceans of Israel? Why did he want to go to Israel? And the Talmud answers because he wanted to do the mitzvahs, that most of the mitzvahs of the Torah only depended on the land of Israel. And Hashem said to him, I'm sorry, Moshe. Al tosef daber elai oid I'm begging you, don't ask me again. After 515 times, don't ask 516th time, because if you do ask a 516th time, I'm going to have to give it to you. And I don't want to give it to you, so don't ask again. And he ended, he stopped. He didn't ask. So the question is, why does the Torah use the word Vo'eschanan? Instead, it should have said Vo'espalel. I prayed to Hashem in that time. Why does it say Vo'eschanan? And Rashi says an interesting answer. He says, Eschanan is matnas chinam. When a tzaddik davens and a Jew davens to Hashem, he doesn't ask Hashem because of his own merit and say, Hashem, you know why you should let me go to Israel? Because I'm such a righteous Jew. I did so many things for you. I took the Jews out of Egypt. I split this, went with them and, and led them for 40 years in the desert. That's not what Moshe went. His approach was not that. His approach was... Matnas chinam, Hashem, give it to me because you are infinite and give me a gift for free, not on my merit. Don't base it on me. Base it on your infinite kindness that has no limit and no boundaries, that you just are infinite and you can give kindness to everyone, so give me the kindness. This is a different kind of approach because when you go with this approach, then it's not limited. When you base it on your merit, so even though you may deserve it, but it's limited to how much you deserve. But when you say, Hashem, give it to me, not because of my merit, but Hashem is infinite. Hashem could do anything even if I don't deserve it. So then it's not based on your limit, then it could be an infinite, uh, an infinite uh, response. And this is why he uses, he changes the word from Ve'espalel, which is pray to Ve'eschanan. Because this time when he asked Hashem, he didn't ask it based on something. He said, Hashem, you are infinite. You could give it as a gift. Give me a gift. Let me go to Eretz Yisrael. And Hashem says, you know what, Moshe? I will give you the gift. I will let you see Israel. He went up to the top of the Pisgah. And he saw the whole land. However, one day you will get to Israel. So he says, when? He said, in the year of 2016. On the 13th day of Av, when Mashiach will come, you will be able to merit to go, not only you to Israel, but the entire generation of the desert that died out in those 40 years, you'll be able to bring them with you to the Holy Land of Israel and be able to build a third base of Migdash with the coming of Mashiach.